What's happening guys, Dan here and we've got a new video for you today. If you've seen any of our Gadget Show Live 2016 coverage, you'll see that we did a, an interview at a store called Game Vice. We talked to a gentleman named Fraser who started the company and invented the product basically. Essentially what Game Vice is, is this. It's uh, a joypad that you plug your phone into. It works with iPhone 6 and 6 Pluses and the S variation as well, as well as the iPad Mini, soon to be the iPad Air and the iPad Pro. And what it gives you is all the controls you're familiar with from a Xbox controller or PlayStation 4 controller, or any PlayStation controller as a matter of fact, but on your phone instead. And obviously there's hundreds of hundreds of games out there now that work with these sorts of controllers. It's about 600 that GameVice have certified and said they'll work with our product. Um, and they even have an app to help you find all those games. The best thing about GameVice though, which I've not seen on any others, is it folds up to be a really small design so you can put it in your bag or your pocket and not even worry about it. The reason you haven't seen it anywhere else is because it's patented, so no other company is allowed to do that design. Uh, we're going to unbox it today and we're going to also review it for you and let you know what we think. Uh, I'm really excited, so let's get on with the video. Okay, okay, so we've got a GameVice here in its packaging. This is the one for the iPhones. You don't need a separate one for 6 with 6 Plus, the same device works with both. There is an iPad version and the iPad version is slightly bigger so it gives you a nicer interface because obviously you're holding a larger device as well. So on the back of the box just here we've got a little bit of information about the game vice, some pictures of what it looks like. Obviously you can see there that's how it folds up. There's a free app called Game Vice Live uh, which lets you choose from hundreds of different games that are available for the game vice makes it really easy to find i'm going to show you that in just a second it's what i use to find the games that i'm going to demo to you today on the device itself you've got the lightning connection you've got a micro usb connection so you can charge it while you're playing it and you've also got a headphone jack as well uh, it doesn't work with every single game that's on the app store though guys so don't expect it to work with everything let's go ahead and open the box so i'm just going to break the seal just here get this packaging off and then it just lifts up like so. so it says there are hundreds of games available at Game Vice Live download on the App Store like I said I'm going to show you that in a second let's just get rid of this and if you don't have one of these already you seriously need to get one we've played it quite a lot at the Gadget Show and I thought they were awesome Tom loved it too just some warranty information just there and game vice stickers now these guys work directly with apple so you can get hold of these in the apple store uh, that's the best place of finding them otherwise you can't be guaranteed that they're going to be an official game vice uh, and just like apple always give you apple stickers we've got some game vice stickers just there got some game vice cards as well with some different art Nice little cool little features to put in there as well. Some little instructions and stuff like that in there, telling you how to use the device. A bit more about what the what the controls and stuff are on there as well. Obviously, if you've used a games console, very similar design. Let's just take this out of here. So this is the game vice itself. I'm going to put this to one side, and we'll we'll have a better look at this in just a moment. And then we've got. A micro USB cable obviously for charging it because that's what the device itself takes so let's just close the box put that to one side here's the product it's a really nice design so on the back here we have the slider this controls whether it's a 6 or a 6 plus that you use at the moment it's set to a plus if you want it to a 6 you just slide it along like so and it clicks in and then it's ready for an iPhone 6 if you want to use it on a 6 plus there's a little lock at the side there, you lift that up and you slide that along and it's ready for a plus. On the front then we've got your pause button, your A, X, B and Y buttons as well. This will double up as your menu button as well obviously on the screen. You've got your first joypad and then your two right triggers there. So your right trigger and your right button. On this side you've got a nice little Game Vice logo just there. You've got your d-pad second analog pad and then that's your battery indicator just there as well as your left button and your left trigger you've then got on the underneath just here your headphone port and also your micro usb port these little slits here 
these are your battery indicator level slits so you can that will show you how much battery you've got left on there your flex bridge just here is where the magic is so there's magnets built into there just fold them up and the magnets built into these bits here will hold the device together so it's nice and compact for you so when you've got your device unmagnet it it's ready to put your phone in before we do that though we need to obviously get some games for it and to do that we need the game vital live app you don't obviously need the app you can just choose games that work with the uh, with these controllers however the app makes it really easy so what we're going to do once we've got our iphone we're going to download the game vital live app from the app store which is free then go to game vital live just there it'll load up and a familiar, uh, familiar interface like the iPhones will come up then with all the apps and you can choose which app you want to download. Now I went to our favourites and there's a real good selection on there so there's stuff like Legacy Quest, Assassin's Creed, Rayman, all the Grand Theft Autos are compatible with it. So I downloaded quite a lot of these to, to try out. So as you can see I've got Assassin's Creed Infinity, Identity even. Cabby Free, Crazy Taxi, Failure Breaks. I've got four of the Grand Theft Auto games because they all work except Chinatown Wars. Legacy Quest, Lego Batman, Lego Star Wars, and Rayman. I've got a nice little selection. I'm a sucker for Lego games. I'm a sucker for old classics like Rayman and Crazy Taxi. But I also obviously love stuff like Grand Theft Auto. So next, we're going to go ahead and put the, put the game vice on our phone and give it a shot. So to set your game vice up, it's really simple. You get your game vice, you've got your phone. You take your phone, you need the lightning connector obviously, and the way that works is it just slots into the side like so. On the other part, you just pull it around until it stretches and clips around your phone, and you are good to go. It's locked on, feels really nice and sturdy as well. And differences, this gives you the same effect that a TV would, because obviously a TV is so far away, that this being so close to you represents basically the same size a TV would look when you're actually sat using it. Next up, we're going to go ahead and fire a game up. We're going to give it a try and see what we think of it. So this is the game vice. It's a brilliant bit of kit, in all honesty. Um, I love it. I think they're awesome. I think everyone needs to have one. It should come included in the box with iPhones. I can't wait to try the iPad one. I think the iPad one is going to be absolutely incredible because of your much bigger screen. The iPhone though, it fits really nice in your hand so you can use it really easily. It's what you used to if you ever played on anything like a Nintendo DS. Um, well, anything along those lines where you have to interact with the screen as well as with uh, the controls, it feels extremely like that. I think they're absolutely brilliant. So I tried a few games on it. Um, Grand Theft Auto is amazing. It's The classic games have always been great. On PSP, they were absolutely awesome, and now you're getting back again on your iPhone. Screen size is about the same if you go for something like an iPhone 6 Plus as well compared to what you used to get on the, like your PSPs. Assassin's Creed and Legacy Quest were two games that Game Vice were advertising there while you were at the Gadget Show Live, and they were really pushing those games as being awesome with the Game Vice, and I can completely understand why. The graphics on the Assassin's Creed game are absolutely incredible, and if you pair it with the Game Vice, the experience is absolutely unparalleled it's second to none you've got it there wherever you want whereas on a games console it has to be obviously somewhere that's best for everyone else in the house this you can have anywhere even places like on the train and stuff like that because you've got your headphone jack so you don't have to worry about that the graphics though are crazy so you're not missing out from what you'd get on a games console legacy quest as well was actually really fun i've not played a game like that in a long time the closest thing i ever played to that was runescape uh, but now you've got it on the iPhone, the graphics are a lot nicer, a lot more friendly, and the game's really fun to play as well. Crazy Taxi, it, I'm still getting used to. It is really weird, but it was weird without the game vice, so it's just, it's fun at the end of the day. I love playing games like that. You know, the old classic games were always the best, and Crazy Taxi was definitely one that, with a game vice, is <laughs> really fun and uh, weird to play. The Lego games for me, they'll definitely take it. I love Lego games. I used to always play them, like I said, on 
um, well, every console basically. I've always had them on like the Xbox, and the Wii was always a really good one to play Lego games on as well. Uh, and it's really fun on here. Uh, I've never really played them on the phones because I've not liked the idea of it being a touchscreen interface. So when I got the game by sent to me, I went ahead and I bought Lego uh, Star Wars. And honestly, it did not disappoint. It's really fun. The Lego Star Wars, if you want to try a Lego game without paying for it on the game vice lego star wars episode one is free so you download the lego star wars game you play episode one for free and then if you want to carry on you can buy the rest of the episodes uh otherwise all the games i've played today the dearest game I, that was bought was 4.99 and that was the new grand theft auto game other than that they've all been about 3.99 obviously in america it will vary a little bit i think they're normally about four dollars 99 but i mean four quid for a full game that's on your phone wherever you want to go you'd pay 25 minimum to get it on a console so on these it's really good so another great thing about the game vice is when you're playing it you're not interfering with the screen at all the only downside if you ever played an iphone game is your hands are in the way of the screen you're covering up part of the content and you never do that with any other console whatsoever you know if you're playing an, an, an xbox or a wii or anything you're not covering up the screen you're you're control the air in your hand away from the content itself that's what the game vice introduces for you it lets you play your game without interfering with the display so it's opening up a world of gaming that you've never really seen before on an iphone and it's something really fun especially on an ipad obviously if you're playing a game on an ipad stretching your hands to reach certain controls is always a big pain so i imagine the game vice is really going to help with that and stop you having to stretch everywhere to reach your controls it'll be a lot more user friendly to play a game on any apple device as a roundup i think these are phenomenal you definitely need to get one the fact that they fold up really small and are dead easy to use is really really fun i think the fact that that is all the space you need to take it with you is great wherever you're going whether you are going camping whether you're going abroad on holiday and you want something for on the plane if you're going on a long car journey take it with you the fact that it charges your phone up and the game vice at the same time through the micro usb port again is something i think is really good and the, the fact that the headphone slot is on the game vice is really good because otherwise you wouldn't be able to use it at all the build quote is really nice it's sturdy it takes 13 different machines just to make the plastic like the the plastic build of it so the, that is something that you can tell a lot of time and passion has gone into making this and it's not just something that a company's done to to make a little bit of extra money i mean game vice literally this is the product their company just makes this so everything they do is designed to make this the nicest and the easiest bit of kit you can use and i think that is something that goes a long way you can definitely tell that this is made by someone that wants mobile gaming to be really fun and really enjoyable for everyone whether you only ever played them on mobile devices or if you've been a console gamer as well if you've not already go to the game vice website and take a look at them there's a lot more information on there to talk to you uh, to talk you through it all more than what i've given you today i've been here more to give you my opinion uh, and show you a little bit how it works if you want to pick one up apple stores worldwide stock these so you can go in and grab one like I said, they've got an iPad Air and Pro version coming out as well very soon, which I'm really excited for. I can't wait to try that. I've got an iPad Air, and I think it'll be really fun to use. Definitely download the Game Vice Live app. I would not have been able to find all the games I found without it. I think the fact that they've got an app that collates all these apps together for you is great. It's got the full list, or you can have a look at what Game Vice themselves recommend to play. That's all I went to, and the games were really good on there. So you've got stuff like Grand Theft Auto, you've got the Lego games, you've got Assassin's Creed, uh, and you'll find some real good games to get started otherwise if you want to try a few for free there's a page that shows you all the free apps and you can go on there and download those as well and there's still hundreds of free apps for you to download and use check out the link in the description below for not just game vice's website but their facebook page their twitter page every social media page they have let us know in the comments what you think if you get one of these if you do we do we definitely want to hear from you we want to know what your favorite games are and as well tell us those we'll download them we'll try them if you like this review get in touch with us we'd love to know what you think we want to do more reviews as well so if you've got something you want us to have a look at and review for you let us know and we will definitely have a look you'll also see our social media pages down there go ahead and like us on facebook follow us on instagram and twitter we've got a lot more stuff coming out this year that we're really excited to tell you about so if you're not following us you're not going to find them out until then 
make sure you pick one of these up give them a try i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye